Hi, I'm Randy Morgan. I'm a National Accounts Manager for 3M Industrial Mineral Products Division, and I'm here today to talk about Scotch Car Protector and why it's a highly effective means to help prevent the black streaks caused by algae. But let me give you a little bit of a history lesson, if you will, about how this all uh, got developed. We actually started looking into the problem back in the 1950s. People started recognizing these black streaks on their roof, and they didn't really know what they were. Um, some people thought that they were fungus, it was mold. Uh, we actually went to a scientist in the University of Minnesota and he helped us identify it as algae. And so then we started working on, well, how do we try to control this problem? And we looked at various different types of metals because we've all seen that, that wash down effect, if you will, that, that usually happens from roof vents and the area underneath it would be kept clean. Folks had tried zinc at one time and zinc pellets, zinc strips on a roof, but zinc actually has a tendency to turn white over time. So we said, well, that's probably not the best thing to use. We found that copper was the best means to help prevent these black streaks caused by algae on a roof. And we did a lot of testing and, and came to find out that it really comes down to two main points. One is the leach rate of the copper that's coming out of the granules and the other is the uniform distribution of the copper that's on a shingle. And so here is an example of, of a, uh, a vial, if you will, that has the copper granules in it at the amount that malarkey puts in. And then if you'll notice then, this is also represents lesser amount of copper that's in a shingle and it's really not gonna be effective against controlling those black streaks caused by algae. So our scientists, you know, determine that it takes a minimum 10% blend of these copper granules. So one of every 10 granules that's in a shingle has to be copper containing to really control the black streaks that are caused by algae on a roof. It's not only the amount of copper that's in the shingle, it's also how it's distributed. So it has to be evenly distributed across the entire exposed portion of the, of the roof. So both the shingles and the hip and ridge have to be protected. If you do that, we have found over the years that this is really effective for keeping the black streaks off of, off of a roof. And we are proud to, to say also that Malarkey was the first shingle manufacturer to offer Scotchgard Protector for shingles to the homeowners to help prevent these black streaks caused by, by algae. Going back to the science behind these copper granules, we've actually been selling them since 1991. And during that time, from that time to the present, We've really had no claims against black streaks caused by algae on a roof. That's how many years, 25 years of proven history here. It's that 10% level that we, that we did a lot of work on early on that says that that's the level that you need in a shingle to, in order to control the black streaks. And so if you have less than that, the potential is there to get black streaks, whether it's in two years, five years, you know, eight years or whatever uh, it may be, we're able to offer you know, to our customers a 20-year warranty against the black streaks caused by algae because we have that much science, we have that much data behind it to back it up. So let's, let's talk a little bit about the copper granules themselves. So these were developed by our scientists in our labs and it actually starts with the base mineral that we use for all the colored granules, but we start with putting a coating of copper, a cuprous oxide, around it first. And then we put a patented seal coat around it that allows the copper to slowly leach out of the granules over time. That's really the mechanism that makes this work. So let, let's say you have a house in Houston, Texas, and Houston's a very, obviously a very hot and humid area. That roof is actually gonna stay wet probably eight to 10 hours in a day, and that's a perfect, perfect environment for algae to grow and thrive in. So what really makes the copper granules work is the dew that forms on the roof overnight is the mechanism that pulls the copper out of these little granules and slowly washes it down the roof to protect that roof from the black streaks caused by algae. Now, your granules wouldn't look copper colored like this in this demonstration here. This is just for demonstration purposes. The, the granules themselves would be coated with a, with a color, if you will, to, to match the uh, color that's on, the, on your blend. Um, but the principle is there that it's got copper inside of it, if you will. So it's kind of like the power inside the granule is the, is the copper that's slowly leaching out and protecting the roof. 
And again, you've got to have enough of these granules on your shingle to be effective against controlling these black streaks. Otherwise, you're going to get issues over time because there simply isn't enough coverage on the roof that would then allow the algae to start and gain a foothold. One important thing to remember, I always tell people, is that copper doesn't kill algae. It keeps it from getting started. And that's why if you don't have adequate coverage on a roof with enough copper scattered across that shingle, algae is going to find a spot to grow on and then eventually it'll overwhelm the copper that's there. If you'd like to learn more about Scotchgard versus AR or Scotchgard versus algae, you can go to our website and you can simply type in 3M roofing granules and it'll come up with our website or you can contact your local malarkey rep and they can also point you to the right direction to get more information. Thank you.